friends, the information that you are about to witness from all of my years of research is the most important. It's been hidden in plain view the entire time. This is the ultimate secret and it's about to be exposed. I have hundreds of government documents, textbooks, white papers, where for over 80 years, the elite of the Western world have talked about adulterating food and water to sicken and sterilize the population for the purpose of eugenics. It's all covered in the book, Ecoscience, written by the White House science czar, John P. Holdren, where they talk about a planetary police state to carry out the forced sterilization. They also talk about covert systems in the water and food to sterilize the population. Now this was written decades ago, before he was White House science czar. Now suddenly, the stuff in this book is all over the news. They're selling it to the public as if it's a good thing. You see here before you what an average person would buy when they went shopping at the store. Not everything here is bad for you, but much of it has compounds and artificial chemicals that have been added that are extremely toxic and bad for your health. And they have known this the entire time and they have approved them for use. Let's start with aspartame. You cannot go to the grocery store now and buy any type of even regular sugar gum that hasn't had aspartame added to it. In the 1970s, Searle tried to get it approved and they couldn't. It took them three separate times because in their own studies with monkeys, large portions of them that were fed it died and contracted cancer. Now we have mainstream news articles and the EU has done a major study finding lower birth weights, early birth, and yes, miscarriages from women that drink aspartame laden soft drinks like Coke Zero. What is aspartame? It is the fecal matter of the E. coli bacteria. They took it and genetically engineered it. They can feed it toxic waste and then it defecates aspartame. And it has so many bad health effects, it's just unspeakable. This is being done by design. It's also very, very addictive. But let's just go ahead and move away from aspartame and talk about McDonald's and chicken McNuggets. Now, I remember a decade ago or so reading health advisories claiming that a form of plastic uh, that's used in silly putty, basically a type of silicone, was in the chicken McNuggets, but also in many other TV dinners and other foods. It is illegal in every other nation in the world to add these chemicals to the food, but it's not in the United States. The big secret is all of this was done by design by the FDA. Look at all the drugs they've approved, and then it comes out later that they knowingly approve them when these drugs are causing heart attacks and cancer. In the Nuremberg trials, it came out that the Nazis were adding sodium fluoride to the water supply in the labor camps and death camps to make the population more docile and controllable. There had been hundreds of university studies before Hitler even came to power. This is a form of forced medication. They admit that one part per million of sodium fluoride more than doubles the chance of bone cancer in boys and men. As the public became educated in the last few decades, the government industry's response was to not just put it in water, but to start adding it to thousands of products like children's water that's mixed with their formula or with their cereal. They started adding as much as 900 parts per million in things like powdered eggs. It causes reductions in IQ. It increases sterility or lack of fertility, and it's being added to so many of the daily staples that we consume. We'll get back to food additives in a moment. But first, I wanted to look at genetically modified organisms. Did you know for many years the American people have been eating cloned beef and pork, and now they're expanding out into other forms of meat? 
Let's look at salmon first. Major university studies conclusively have proven that the type of genetically modified salmon that is actually a cross species, they've mixed other uh, animal genes in with it, that when this fish is introduced with wild natural salmon, within 40 generations, all the natural salmon are extinct. And the FDA approved this. And they're going to allow it to be released into the wild that isn't even a salmon. It is a cross species chimera. It is a mixture like something out of the island of Dr. Maru, something out of a nightmare. More than 85% of the corn now consumed in the United States, and it's also starting to trend that way in Europe and Canada, is genetically engineered. It grows its own pesticide uh, within the corn kernels so that insects won't eat it. If the insects can't eat this and live, what do you think is going to happen when lab rats or humans eat it? We have literally hundreds of studies showing that not just Monsanto's, but other major GMO companies' corn, that's the majority of corn we're now eating today in the United States, has been linked to organ failure in lab animals. The studies also show massive increases in sterility in rats and guinea pigs that are fed not just GMO corn, but GMO cotton seeds. Studies in India, Germany, and the United States have conclusively shown that when they feed the cotton seeds left over from the cotton crop from these genetically modified varieties, that the cows are having miscarriages, they are having low birth weights, or in many cases, they're simply dying. And what is in most processed foods? Genetically modified cottonseed oil. Major studies are also showing that genetically engineered crops are killing honeybees and monarch butterflies. But they don't stop there. Now they claim they're coming out with a genetically engineered mosquito that's malaria-proof that they're going to release into the open biosphere. The very genetic code of the planet is being butchered in a hostile corporate takeover. Many years ago, an executive from Monsanto was quoted in National Geographic as saying that that is their program that they want to basically have their crops and their organisms take over the entire biosphere of this planet. And the major genetic engineer companies have focused mainly on eight major food crops. Now they're expanding out into hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other plants, literally changing the genetic code of the planet. This is a genetic dictatorship. This is genetic vandalism. And that's why the Rockefellers, the United Nations, and others have built these giant armored seed vaults all over the world, not just at the Arctic Circle. And they admit they're doing it in case all of this gets out of hand, that they'll have a type of no was ARC. So all these fake environmental groups, they never complain about this. They never talk about true environmental degradation. They want to put a tax on carbon dioxide that humans exhale, that plants respirate from and carry out photosynthesis with as a way to shut down industrial society and control every facet of our lives. That's the big secret. This is a population reduction program. It is an epidemic the sperm count has dropped in the Western world exponentially. Even the government has been predicting within another generation, almost everyone is going to be sterile. This is the globalist religion. This is their philosophy. They want the planet for themselves. The UN has said that their stated plan is an 80% population reduction. You've heard Ted Turner call us useless eaters and feeders and say that 80% of us need to be killed. You've heard Prince Philip say he wants to come back as a virus uh, to kill the majority of the world population. Dr. Eric Pianca, Peter Singer, it's all over the news where they tell us that we should only have one child because more than one is bad for the environment and that the recession is good for lowering our carbon footprint. This is the big secret. We live in a scientific dictatorship. And the United States and England are the epicenter of this. And it's expanding worldwide. Remember all the secret testing, all the secret sterilization that went on in the United States and Europe. Remember what Hitler did. He learned all of that from the eugenicist and the Rockefeller family in the United States. This is a culture of death being pushed on you and your family. And even if you think the world is overpopulated, you need to understand that you're being targeted by this as well. Targeted by... The design. first and most important reason to have food reserves is to be prepared in case of an emergency. 
There are an average of 392 large-scale natural disasters a year. Add to this the possibilities of unemployment, accidents, and downturns in the economy that have 43 million Americans on food stamps, and food reserves make all kinds of sense. But food reserves are not just about you, are they? They're about you and all the people you care about. Let me illustrate my point. The price of food is continually rising. What if you found out about a grocery store that opened up in your neighborhood with prices from 10, 15, even 20 years ago? Would you shop there? <laughs> Probably. What if the food was free? Would you keep it to yourself? Or would you feel inspired, even responsible, to share that gift? eFoods Global can help you and your family and friends prepare for an uncertain future with our food reserves. And we can even show you how to do it for free. The more of us that are prepared, the more generous and empowered we will all be, and the safer our families will be. Now let's continue our tour by showing you what goes into making eFoods Global Reserves and why they are the right choice for you.